Hello, welcome and welcome back. This is Jacob continuing the narration series for the short, short module stories for the various operators in Arknights. And today we are looking at the module story for Operator Cutter. Now, aside of this, I have never really used this unit. She definitely falls into those categories of, well, never had the opportunity to level this unit, never had an opportunity to check this unit out. But, considering the recent addition to the game for the uh, integrated strategies, um, I was kind of curious, so I picked her up a couple of times just to see how well she does in those, just to, you know, save up on the uh, points and stuff, considering she's a 4-star and cheap to recruit in there. Uh, she did very well, and this also reminded me of the fact that her... Uh, her abilities also hit aerial targets, especially her second ability, which has a similar giant conal shape around her um, to uh, Shen's S3 skill. But Cutter skill is a single hit on anything in uh, that vicinity, and uh, it hits aerial units for double the damage. So, pretty neat. So yeah, had an opportunity to test her out a bunch in uh, S2. Currently trying a couple of runs whenever I have the time, just with her and a couple of other operators alongside her. But um, she's fun and fun to use in there. D does her uh, job very well, all I can say. But outside of that, uh, as a character, again, never had the opportunity to... F uh, to look up her file or where she's from or what, what the hell she's all about well now i know a bit more considering she is apparently or was apparently a mercenary who came to rhode island for medical treatment now i don't know if it's today's story that is leading into why or how she comes to rhode island certainly does have that feeling or it's during a Rhode Island mission, I am not entirely sure because it's very vague of when and how this story is evolving. Also considering I only recently got her up to 100% so I have no idea about the rest of her file. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll get into that. Also, if anybody ever who you know uh, brings up the idea of, hmm, how would a, I don't know, Attack on Titan um, collab work with this game. You tell them we have Attack on Titan at home, and then you show them Cutter, and then you tell them as well it is cuter. Uh, but yeah, why? Well, her swords are essentially the <laughs> exact same uh, gigantic ass box cutter swords uh, that everybody in Attack on Titan uses. Even, even the module, and I do like the module, and find it very weird that the blueprint for these swords is apparently star-rated. Weird, but okay. Uh, but yeah, the swords... Well, the hilts or whatever, the cartridges come with extra swords in case the other, others break. Which is kind of neat. So yeah, she's she's essentially a Attack on Titan character, minus the uh, maneuver gear. But yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into the story, shall we? So, the title of the module is Replaceable Toolset, and the story goes as follows. Cutter has three prin principles. Never kill the innocent. No trafficking nor blackmail. If the mission loses anyone their belongings, you have to compensate with equal value afterwards. So today, while everyone's still asleep, Cutter knocks out a mercenary guard, cracks open a crate, and holds a hand out to the g little girl inside. She knows mercenaries. For people like th them who deal in blood, letting the goods escape doesn't just affect their reputation, it impacts their business. So they'll kill their friends and it won't weigh on them one bit. But for the sake of this innocent girl, nothing will stop her. Cutter conceals herself in the pitch-black night. A dull, bad sweetness emerges in her throat, 
reminding her of the blood that coated her under the blazing sun in times past. But the girl on her back grips Cutter's arms tight, reminiscent of that day years ago when she herself gripped tight of those uh, machetes with no owner. She pushes the girl up on her back, adjusting positions, freeing herself up. In the interval where her taut nerves relax, the aches on her body calm with. Cutter uses the moonlight to inspect, inspect their wounds on her. A bolt shot at them hours earlier cut her shoulder and the girl's arm. The blood of the two uh, congealed together. In this moment, thanks to her, thanks to the movement, fresh blood finds a way to well from her shoulder again. Cutter tilts her head to look, her mind beginning to ring thanks to this trouble from nowhere. The rope that fate bound around her neck suddenly tightens, and Cutter begins to feel this instant that her very breathing is beginning to freeze. Her hands turn cold in an instant, her heart pounding in her ears with every pulse, and she feels this darkness will drown her. Cutter stares in shock, rooted to the ground the cut on her shoulder, smoldering red. And there we go, that's the story. Also, I will apologize for this little segment if I read it out very weirdly and with very weird breaks. It is very weirdly um, worded, if that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, essentially, it, if it sounded weird and uh, you are as confused as I was when I was reading this paragraph for the first time, essentially it's describing that Cutter got injured earlier in the day from a bolt, and from that cut now, because she's moving a lot, fresh blood is seeping out and it's mixing with the already dried up blood. That's essentially what it's saying. But it's so weirdly said because it goes from she to they to whatever the hell there, and it for, for a second when I was reading for the first time, did someone as they're running shot a bolt at them and now both of them have been injured? What is happening? But yeah, essentially that 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 that's the thing. But also, this is very unfinished. <laughs> uh part two, please? Or is that leading into how she gets to Rhode Island? I don't know. Uh because her file doesn't say that. Her file only states that uh she is a mercenary and came to Rhode Island for treatment. That's it. The rest of the file I haven't seen because half of it is, is still obscured. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. Uh, but before I say the bye-byes, I would like to ask here quickly if anybody who is listening to this and has been uh, following the channel for a while now would be interested in like a small maybe once or twice per week let's play series for the newly added mode for the integrated strategies considering that's going to be a permanent thing and uh it'll be fun to play along with everybody in uh the episodes i'm mostly doing blind runs so i have no idea what strategies people came about about with that so <laughs> it's gonna be probably weird and i'm gonna pro probably do weird things but yeah that's it if anybody is interested to see uh let's play series like that but yeah, in the meantime, uh, this has been Jacob. Thank you all for listening, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.